Salutations, viewers. My name is Game Dame, and welcome back to another one of Game Dame Reacts, where we have another overview trailer for Lords of the Fallen. I'm excited to see what else they're going to be showing us because Lords of the Fallen very much looks like a game I definitely want to play. So let's go ahead and watch the trailer. Oh my god. <laughs> Loud as shit. Yeah, this game looks badass, though. Lords of the Fallen is the all-new epic dark fantasy action RPG. We love Set me some dark fantasy years for after sure. the events of the original game. Prepare to embark upon a perilous adventure through the vast lands of Mornstead, a prominent region within this sprawling world. Okay, so it is the sequel. Desolation. Maybe I should play the other Lords of the Fallen before this one. Stretching that was across a cool its sky scorched horizon lies enemy. the colossal hand of a deer, overlooked by the five holy beacons of the Sentinels. The beacon's been lit! Gondor calls for aid! That's what I think every time I hear the word beacon. Originally constructed to restrain the fallen god, they have been defiled by his infernal forces and now threaten to abet his resurrection. And it's our job to save the universe. As if fate itself intervened, an ancient and all-powerful lamp has recently found itself a new bearer. You, delivering you. your mortal coil from the cold embrace of death, and into the ranks of the Dark Crusaders. The radiance of Mornstead withers. This is so this is so Dark Souls. Entrusted it's insane, but like such a cool, charges. interesting twist. You must restore radiance to these five beacons and thwart a deer's uprising. Mankind needs me now more than ever. In a land over uh -uh, we if we do not need you fabric between worlds is splitting this is no easy feat oh it's definitely not gonna be easy I can tell you that much right off the bat your quest will take you on a long and harrowing journey through the disparate regions of Mornstead. from forsaken fens to burning cities. Damn, no one's mines, putting those fires to out. Forests. Each land is distinct, but equally fraught with untold horrors. Curious companions. I like little and flower wizard. Flower wizard's Consult cool. Your trusty journal to keep track of your whereabouts. Though a word to the wise, ink and parchment will provide limited solace. Especially when it comes to this world's inhospitable counterpart. Gotta be careful. The lamp that I think is so cool. Possesses an ungodly power. The power to cross between the realm of the living, Axiom, and the realm of the dead, Umbra. Uh, so With I love this concept so much. Its own labyrinthine pathways, you'll need to navigate both worlds accordingly. Axiom presents its own unique challenges, but terrors beyond comprehension await in the nightmarish equivalent. Which is why they call it Umbral. So you get two lives. That's what I like about it. And I'm assuming you get like Estes fla uh, flasks. Those who for embark sure, upon something this like crusade that. must also confront the formidable champions that inhabit such realms. A betrayal made flesh, and one I cannot brook. I can't wait to fight her. I've seen it, like the, the gameplay of her. Of their twisted endeavors. You are not welcome here. All right, she is literally basically the swift swordsmanship and the most um, my boy from the first Dark Souls. So it should come with great relief to learn that the Umbral Lamp possesses she is so cool. yet cool. further powers. For should you fall in Axiom, you will rise once more. In Umbral, you now have one final chance to overcome your adversaries. 
But that one final chance is really nice, though. The longer you spend the greater number of spectral horrors that will hunt you down. No, thank you. So you got to get out of there ASAP if Should you're an umbral. Should two lives still prove inadequate, help is at hand for those whose pride permits. Mornstead is home to a number of would-be comrades. Some will demand an errand performed before proffering a second sword, while others thirst heavier for the blood of Rogar. No. As for those who wish to look outside of Mornstead for a co-op companion, you can invite a second player to join your journey at as any you, vestige. Yep. Which is always nice to have someone with side, you to play this. For as long as you or they choose. Before you commence your adventure, choose from nine starting classes. Wield sword and shield as the, the Hollow classic. Knight. The classic. Knight. fire-based carnage as the pirate cultist. All right, Strike pyromancy. Fear from afar as the black feather ranger or pick from one of the other prospective heroes. Okay, so While they got the basic three, and I'm really curious as to how the other ones are. You are free to develop your character however you see fit. With additional starting classes, unlockable based on the choices you make in this world. Fully customize your character from the dozens of armor sets I like sets the outfits. Yeah, the armor sets are sick too. throughout these vast lands. Yeah, this Not is basically Dark Souls. Extensive range of equipment, <laughs> including oh, that's javelins, ja that was a nice fucking bombs, javelin throw. Weapon salts, protection wards, and more. As for those that would forego metal for magic, there are three schools of sorcery to master. Radiance. Okay, Rogar, that Rogar, so and cleric. Each comprising oh, a sweeping spectrum of spells. From character buffs to arena-wide downpours of annihilation. That sounds so cool, though. I'm always a magic hoe, but like, I kind of if I've never really gone like a rogue character An or epic adventure like barbarian. I always go wonder, like something mixed with magic, which I think mixed with magic is really good. Coursing through the very realms of the if it enhances dead, you. Awaits. I just know there's gonna be some bosses I'm really gonna need to be able to have a. I usually also do sword and shield Awaken mixed with that. What was it? An Elden Ring? I was a paladin pretty much. An expansive kingdom of shadow and chaos in the darkest of crusades to destroy a demon god. This is going to be so in sick. Night, I'm already so excited for this. And it comes out this month. I'm so, Oh man, I need to pre-order it. So it's on Steam, PS5, Xbox Series X and S and Epic Games. And then when you pre-order it, um, it looks like you get exclusive armor tanks and like XP items. So it's nothing like too crazy if you pre-order it. But I mean, you'll get those anyways because it's not going to be more. It doesn't look like it, it has like a digital deluxe edition. It might, but I just have to look at, look that up. But I am extremely excited for this game because it is basically Dark Souls. Uh, but it brings in a new twist when going to Umbral, and uh, that I really, really like. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the overview trailer and how excited you guys are for this game, because I'm so fucking excited. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at, but you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.